Consider the function f of x is equal to 1 over x squared minus kx, where k is a non-zero constant. The derivative of f is given by, and they give us this expression right over here. It's, that's nice that they took the derivative for us. Now part a, let k equals 3 so that f of x is equal to 1 over x squared minus 3x. So they set k equal to 3. Write an equation for the line tangent to the graph of f at the point whose x coordinate is 4. So to find an equation for a line, the equation of a line is going to be of the form y is equal to mx plus b, where m is the slope of the line and b is the y-intercept. And the slope of the line right over here, this, is, this needs to be equal to the derivative evaluated when x is equal to 4. So we could say y is equal to, or let me write it this way. We could say that m is going to be equal to f prime when x is equal to 4. So f prime of 4, which is equal to, well, we know that k is equal to 3. So they gave us f prime of x. So it's going to be 3 minus 2 times, we're taking f prime of 4. So minus 2 times 4 over x squared. So that's going to be 4 squared minus k is 3 times 4. 3 times 4, and then we square that whole thing. And so what is this going to be? This is an 8 right over here. And all I did is f prime of x, when k is equal to 3, is going to be 3 minus 2x over x squared minus 3x, and all of that squared. And I want to evaluate what f prime of 4 is. So every place where I saw an x, I substitute it with a 4. Where I saw the k, k is 3. And so this is going to be equal to, the numerator is 3 minus 8 is negative 5 over, this is 16 minus 12, which is going to be 4. 16 minus 12 is 4, and then we square it, so it's going to be negative 5 sixteenths. And so let me write it this way. M is equal to negative 5 sixteenths. So how do we figure out B now? Well, what are the coordinates? When X is equal to 4, what is Y going to be equal to? Well, Y is equal to F of X. So we know that Y on the curve we know that y is e going to be equal to f of 4. So before we evaluate f prime of 4, now we're going to evaluate y as being f of 4, which is equal to 1 over 4 squared, 4 squared minus 3 times 4. And so that is equal to 1 over 16 minus 12, which is 4. And so this point right here, when x is 4, then y is equal to 1 fourth. So we can use that information to solve for b. When, when y is 1 fourth, x, so we're going to say if y is equal to m, which is negative 5 sixteenths, negative 5 sixteenths times x. Well, when y is 1 fourth, x is x, or when I say when x is equal to 4, y is 1 fourth and then plus b, so I can now solve for b. So all I did is I used f prime of x, I used f prime of x to figure out m when x is equal to four, and then I said, okay, well what is the value of y when x is equal to four? And so if I know y, m, and x, then I can solve for b. And so let's just do that. We get one fourth is equal to four times negative five sixteenths is negative five over four plus b. I can add 5 fourths to both sides and I get 5 fourths plus 1 fourth is equal to b or b is equal to b is equal to 6 fourths 6 over 4 which you could say well there's a bunch of ways you could write this we could just say this is equal to 1.5 and so our equation is y is equal to negative 5 over 16x plus 1.5 or if we wanted to write everything as a fraction, we could say y is equal to negative 5 over 16x plus 3 halves. 6 fourths is the same thing as 3 as 3 halves. And there you go.